It's downright odd, I tell you. I mean, it happened at exactly the same time. The murder at the prosecution office. Scientifically speaking, it's impossible. Yes, but that's what the evidence is saying. Goodman was stabbed in two locations at the same time. That's what it says. What evidence is this? Now, now, righto, I can't give away any all oh, our secrets just like that. And this is particular... Well, it's a little sensitive. But, and I think that I can't talk about it. I wasn't expecting much anyway. You know, one thing I hate most of all is hiding stuff, secrets. I can't stand the stuff. Uh, but, you know, it's a full-time job just keeping the head detective's trap shut. And he was the one who you were picking on earlier? Ah, you saw that. Oops. I wonder what it was that he wanted the head detective to do. Let's see if we can find a... Kind of discreetly ask him. Probably grab everything related to SL9. Any evidence related to SL9. I was wondering, could you take a look at this? Sorry, Rido. I'm thorough through with that stuff, though. I see. Go find the guy who can't seem to sit all uh, sit still all there. The busy one. The guy who can't sit still. Seeming Detective Gumshoe. Either way, either him or the dancing blue badger. Let's try this. Okay, I have, I have a feeling it's just gonna be like nothing. Like maybe just something. Good man. Can you look at my attorney's badge at least? No. Yeah, I don't think there's anything I can really get from him. Now let's try going to the police department entrance. Guard station. Hopefully it'll be... Fucking no! Can I go in here now? No. Can I look at these now? No. I have no idea what the fuck I'm supposed to do. Because I don't know where, uh, what's-his-face is. Maybe I can talk to her again. Maybe I'm supposed to present this steak to her again. You'll give that to Jake, like I asked, won't you? Yeah, that's what I thought. I don't know where he is. Um, you're an officer, Marshall. You, uh, are you, are you going out? Jake and I are cooperating on investigation, that's all. We're just putting the past to rest. Thank you. Yeah, that's what I fucking thought, but I don't know where the hell he is. The motherfucker won't come out. Unless he's just on the other side here. No, he's not. This row... Yeah, they laid it at the outline of the victim's body. So wait. The victim must have died when the killer closed the trunk. Okay, that one. Gotta be the only person. No. Anything about the SL9? Sir Minkins, can you take a look at this? Sorry, sir, really sorry, but I have no idea what that is. Maybe you should ask Mr. Edwards, sir. He's passing the buck, Mr. Ryan. Takes a special kind of man to pass the buck to Edgeworth. Men's ID, prosecutor's trophy. Autopsy. Maybe I present the shoe to that dude. Because there has to be something I can present to him. That makes him do something. Goodman's autopsy. 
Crime scene photo. Like, anything? Do you react to anything? The SL9 knife. Her cell phone? Because, oh my god, I don't know. How the fuck advance throw you? Parking stuff. Blue Badger. There's nothing to go through here. Maybe if I talk to the chief, or examine chief. Sorry you had to see that. What exactly did the chief of police want you to do? Well, I'll see over there. That's Goodman's desk. He wanted me to check it for anything that might be a clue. They took away every last piece of garbage in the trash can. So nothing belonging to Goodman is still here. Of course not. Well, except this. What? You kept something? Sure, why not? It's not important. He didn't even finish writing it. It's a lost item report, but it's only half complete. A lost item. Detective Goodman lose something. Date on it's February 21st. Don't make note of that in just in case. I should probably get a quick look around the crime scene. Now I can. Uh, ID 59? Status report. Interesting. I don't suppose I can present this to him. See if he can talk after that. Just wondering if he could. No. Still nothing. You're, you're a real load of help. Though I'm glad now I can go there. Or maybe fucking wrong crime scene. Permission grant. Oh, fuck off. Actually, I was wondering if I could ask you a favor. Well, I never thought the day would come uh, when Rido asked me for help. I was wondering if we could investigate the evidence room. Now, Rido. Actually, I'm sorry. I don't need to investigate after all. Rido, please. Do I look like a selfish man? Huh? Heck, I, I, if I, anyone asked me, sir, can I borrow $50, I'd give them $50, no problem. Can I borrow, sir, can I borrow $50? So go ahead, investigate this room into your heart's content, knock yourself out. It just goes to show you can never know until you ask. And for you here, you can borrow this. Huh, hey, this is Detective's ID card, isn't it? That's a special card for guests, so don't lose it. Yes, sir, it's an honor. You just long along, you do your best. <laughs> Looks pretty cool on my little lapel, doesn't it? Just think of it as an ID. You seem happy. Yes, sir, because, sir, we've gotten if, got into the evidence room now, sir. I think this place is a bad influence on the girl. Finally! Finally! I can fucking move in there. No, I have to scan. Then move in there. Evidence room is beyond the door. And we have the ID card from Chief Grant. Let's just walk in. It won't open. Aha, the card reader's turned off, see? What's the security guard thinking? Howdy, partners. Well, well, what made my Bambina strike the uh, sky so gray? Officer Marshall. Somehow I knew. What's that somehow I knew for love? As you may have surmised, this here's my saloon. Um, we're here to investigate the crime scene. Yeehaw! That card you got there on your chest? It's better than a sheriff's badge in these parts. Yeehaw. Well, what were y'all staying out here for? Get along, little doggies. Crime scene waiting. Looks like the card reader's on again. While we're here, I was wondering if we could ask you some questions. Sorry, cowboy, but I got no mind to tangle with you hombres. You're busy then? Did I say that? 
I only said I didn't wish to speak with you. Actually, you said you had no mind to tangle with us, hombres. That means the exact same thing, right? You gotta speak the language. February 23rd, Evidence Room, Sector 3. It's quiet. The investigation must be over here. So this is the investiga- the evidence room. It really is kind of a graveyard. Graveyards are supposed to have grass and trees. This feels more like a morgue. Nice try, Mr. Wright. You can't scare me. Hey, Gumshoe. Hey! Whoa! Sorry, I thought you were a ghost. I wouldn't recommend going around smacking ghosts on the head, pal. So is it true that what I heard? Righto, please. Do I look like a selfish man? Heck, if anyone asks me, sir, can I borrow fifty dollars? I'd give him fifty, no problem. So go ahead, investigate. Yeah, it's true. So, Chief of Police Grant, will loan anyone fifty bucks? Even me? Oh, so that's what you were th talking about. That's what I would ask immediately after he said that. Actually, I was put in charge of the investigation for today. Just for today? Boss for a day. But guess what? We got You got permission for the chief, so now you're the boss for a day. Gee, thanks. First of all, you'll have to have, one, have this. Uh, evidence room floor plans. Let me look at that. Oh my god, I have so much fucking evidence here. Screen of the stabbing of a detective at the PD. Touch check. Okay. Let's say one entrance. Interesting. Let's talk. I can judge for a day. So, Detective Gumtree, your boss for the day. That's right, it's an honor. After all, the murder took place here, right here in the police department. But if you're boss, why are you all alone? Or where are your underlings? They're using our funds from investigations, trial, uh, yesterday's investigation to prepare for the trial. In other words, Detective Gumshoe got kicked out of the investigation again. I'm adamant, though. I'm gonna take control and put it the, this case to rest. And in my own evidence locker. You have a locker in here, too, Detective Gumshoe? Of course! I am a detective, after all. They give me a locker that only I can open, pal. Only you can open? Watch it be the, like, the fucking public one. Edward. I'll always believe in Mr. Edward, no matter what happens. So, Mr. Edgeworth is with the Inquiry Committee now, right? They're trying to figure out who's responsible for the mess up in court today. I see. I guess this is what you call fate. Mr. Edgeworth uh, just can't get away from the case. That case. Yeah, that case. The SL9, of course. That was the beginning and end of Mr. Edgeworth. Maybe we can get him to tell us more about the case. This place is more high-tech than you might think. Every locker is fixed so that only one detective can open it. Using this ID card. Well, that's the thing, pal. ID car cards can be lost. Why well, I'm on my third card since entering the force already. That sounds like a lot. Yeah, but even I can't lose my own right hand. Right hand? Uh, it's a thumb scanner. You mean your fingerprint? Exactly, pal. The lock for each locker is code with a fingerprint. And that's the only locker you can o we can o we can open. Funny, they look like normal lockers. These are the latest model. There's a trick to the handles, see? The handles? On the other side of the handles is a sensor. And if the wrong person touches it, you get a shock. If that's what happened, my hand would be black and smoking every day. In any case, the locker locks aren't that obvious. There's even some people in the force that don't know about the fingerprint locks. Okay. That's probably gonna be important. Oh, I just talked to him. Dick Goodman's note and the switchblade knife. I bet Edgeworth was the most surprised one of anyone because of the SL9 connection. That was Mr. Edgeworth's first big case, you know, two years ago. That was the first time the world knew Edgeworth was a man to be feared. But why would evidence from that case turn out now? I guess it's not over, pal. Maybe there are some loose ends left on that case.
is my crowning achievement, my masterpiece, you might say. But uh, art is always misunderstood, pal. Art? He was dancing proudly on the day of the award ceremony, but there was a lot of people coming and going after the ceremony. So they took the blue badger away for a while. Really? Why? Oh, they said it was shameful or something like that. Shameful? I toiled a night and day. I sympathize with Detective Gumshoe, but I can see why they moved it. Uh, how about Edward's knife? Found in Mr. Edward's car, stabbed in Mr. Edward's knife. What would drive Chief Prosecutor Scott to do such a thing? Okay, yeah, no, okay, nothing new here. Uh, need the crime photo, see if that's anything. That's the photo that Miss Starr took. Anything you can tell us about it? That Miss Starr is quite the lady. Well, I remember it was winter. I was 16. She was the only one who ever got me to talk about what happened. 16, that's how old I am now. I wonder what happened. I wonder if Detective Gumshoe wore a trench coat in high school too. He seems the type. Allow me to say one thing, speaking as a detective. If I see a piece of evidence I know nothing about, I say nothing. Nothing. That's fine. You bet it's fine, pal. Can shoot. Nope. Uh, let's talk about these lockers, actually. You can't open the lockers if your fingerprint doesn't match. If you can open it, they'll give you 50 cents. No, the police department lacks faith in its lock system. After all, Detective Goodman was stabbed here after opening his locker. Uh, and, but at the same time, he was found dead over at the prosecutor's office. Evidence remove room floor plans. Okay. Uh, and I'd assume you'd know about the floor plans, but you know. What do I know? Actually, wait. Let me go back and see if I can talk to him. That's all my Okay. Now that was a bloody violent case. Violent. So it was a murder. Serial killing. Serial killing. Maybe I don't want to get involved in this after all. But the killer made a mistake and Mr. Edward built his case around that nab. And this was two years ago? That put Mr. Edward right in the spotlight. And it started the rumor mill. Rumors about forging evidence. Supposed to be a cl all clean up with the transfer, clean all cleaned up with the transfer all the other day. It was the last job he would ever did. Detective Goodman, that is. Huh? What do you mean? Detective Goodman was the detective in charge of the SL9. See? So, so that switchblade knife. The victim took the knife out of the evidence locker himself. something sticking out of here. A cloth? Looks like a shirt. I guess it must be evidence in some case. wonder if Detective Gumtree put this here. Here you go, pal, making me out to look like some kind of slob. I'm not responsible for the evidence here. That's it. I bet that evidence locker was opened recently. How do you know? If you leave things hanging out like that, the evidence gets dirty or ripped. The guard checks on that stuff and notifies the detective responsible. How many times have I had him breathing down my neck all about some silly old evidence? Sounds like Detective Gumshoe lacks evidence hanging, leaves hanging, leaves evidence hanging out a lot too. I bet he doesn't tuck in his shirt under that trench coat either. Uh, if you're going to talk behind someone's back, don't do it right in front of them, pal. Then it's not behind their back. Wow, look at this big pile of junk in the corner. That man looks like a car door. There's a pair of handcuffs attached to the frame. Maybe the guy they caught had some sort of escape artist and he got away. Hey, that's one of those human profiles for range testing. He's been shot square in the forehead. Better him, him than us. Yes, I would prefer not to be shot in the head. Some kind of, uh, some sort of bulky equipment is gathering dust here. That's a sorry looking fishing pole, that is. Ah, that's my personal ball. Never did get around to using it. Wait, I've seen that somewhere before. Right, pal, that's the metal detector. 
The one that led to the solving of the case out on Gordon Lake, remember? Oh, right. Wow, that feels like it was ages ago. And I don't think I've seen this one before. Oh, that, that's a radio locator. I'm sure it'll come in handy in solving some case sooner or later. A cheap looking box. You can't judge a person or machine by their cover. You gotta look at their heart. Or wiring. In some cases. You never know. Blood on the locker. What's this? Blood? It's a little worn, but that's definitely a handprint here. Looks like someone tried to wipe it off. Mr. Wright, what if there's uh, other blood stains left in the room? We should use this testing fluid to check it out. Can I use this? Oh, I can. At any time. Anything. Anything. Well, I mean, obviously up there. I'm looking on any other locker. Oh, it is a handprint. It is definitely something. Oh, there's probably some on there, yeah. Now I can examine. There's something sticking out here. Okay. Is it really just not gonna let me examine it? It's like, hey, there's... There's traces of stuff here. You guys wanna, uh, you know, investigate that? Nah. Don't fucking worry. Investigate that. Okay. Just had to fucking do something. Really go to town on it. Why am I getting a reaction here? There's no reason for the murderer to touch this spot if he pulled out the door. This just meh, might be something significant. Hey! That's some pretty amazing stuff you got there, pal. What the- this? It's called liminal testing board. Where do you get your hands on that? Huh? I'd like to get some too. I, I'll just borrow 50 bucks from the chief. Where do you get this, Emma? I always buy it by mail order. Why well, I'd better <laughs> jot this down on the floor plans. Just fucking go to fucking town on that fucking thing. In hands. I knew it, this is someone's right hand print. What? What's the matter, detective? This locker. It's mine. It's yours. Please. You have to help me. When they come to take me away. Promise you'll testify that I wouldn't hurt a fly. You'll do it for me, but won't you, pal? This is an important clue. I'll jot this down on the floor plan. I'm counting on you guys, and believe me, you can't trust the police. What? But you're a detective. No, that- fuck them. Examine. Why is there a bunch of paint down here? What is the saw and paint doing here? Since the dawn of time, a true art has always been the war against oppression. A true art? I noticed that there's a blue- Oh! He made the fucking thing here. There's yeah, blue and yellow paint here. Perhaps we're witnessing the birthplace of the Blue Badger. Well, you might say this my studio. Here? In the evidence room? <laughs> Jesus, buddy. Let's go examine that locker. Look, this one's open, and there's an indicator tag still stuck on it. The locker is coated with Detective Goodman's fingerprints. Detective Goodman's locker. Are you sure it's okay to leave it open like that? Well, it'd be hard to get it open again if we closed it. And plus, it's not like you'll be using it anytime soon. It's empty. They must have taken the contents elsewhere. Someone left a glove here, but only one. Detective Gumshoe, maybe? There you go, pal, making me out to some kind of absent-minded detective. No, it's something SL9 related. That's evidence from the case, you know? The SL9? It does have a tag on it. Rubber glove added. What broke over here? Wow, someone must have broken something big to make all these pieces. Detective Gumshoe, perhaps? There you go, pal, making me out to some kind of hoo again. That's apparently from the case. The case? ASL9, pal. See the sticker on the on one of the plates that, there? 
Another piece of SL9 evidence. Check it out. Wonder what shape these pieces were in before whatever, whoever, whatever it was broke. Fuck! You wanna try to put it back together? No. Ah, good luck, pal. That's no job for amateurs. Why well, I spent a good three hours on that before I had to give up. That's why I always carry around the table tube of glue. Well, this piece looks like it's the bottom. Let's try putting the rest of it in place. Oh, fucking Christ. What? I guess find something that has like ridges that look like that. Uh, I was going to look for one. I haven't found one that actually looks like that. And my guess would be this. Or it could be this, like that way. Just fucking no. <laughs> Let's try that. Just... Okay, what the hell does it actually want me to do? If I could actually move this so I could see the upper part of it, I probably would be fine. And that? Okay. I'm starting to... Okay, I don't want to say I'm starting to get the hang of it because it's just like... It's terrible. Regardless. So, uh... I don't want to say like, oh, it's better. And it's that. No, it's not that. <laughs> that it looks similar enough it's not that is it that it's not that I mean it should be like the same kind of coloration like it should be that right there seems to be six though that's what, like what I would look at as okay now it's gonna be I know it should be this one I didn't actually look at the piece before wrong one it should be this one it shouldn't be that one uh that one. No, I have to have something that kind of comes to a pointed base. I hate fucking puzzles. Oh, there you go. Where's the last light colored one? That one. There we go. The very top. Shape. 
that. Actually, it could just be that. It's not just that. Uh, turn it to... No, but it should It have it something to do with the top, though. That's the problem. I had no idea this hung out in any direction. And then there, fucking, I'm done. It's, this is awful. A piece is missing. This is awful. Huh? Well, I think we did it, but some of the pieces are missing. That only took me, t uh, that only took me two minutes to do. The problem is finishing it. Where are some pieces stolen? I bet they were missing to begin with. Still. It does look like the most stable kind of jar. I kind of understand how I got broken. Doesn't look like the most kind of stable jar. Awful. That was absolutely awful.